Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about whether it is safe to talk on your phone while it's charging. I don't usually get into these type of videos, but there is a clip going around right now. In fact, I think I've seen it on every social media channel where there's a father that's explaining why you shouldn't talk on the phone while you have your phone plugged in. And he's using his son as an example. And I'm not gonna place that clip in this video because I don't believe in sharing clips of kids without parents' permission. But just Google it, you can find it. Mainly in that video, he's showing that as you touch your phone with it plugged in, his voltage sensor is going off. And if we unplug it, then it doesn't. Well, we can learn a lot about electricity and about non-contact voltage sensors with this. And that's the main thing I wanna focus on today. So we're gonna answer whether there is dangerous voltage present on your phone when you're charging. But more importantly, we're gonna learn some cool things about electricity and how to use a non-contact voltage sensor since this is a troubleshooting channel. First, what does a non-contact voltage sensor actually sense? And we're gonna do a STEM with Tim episode soon where the kids and I are actually are gonna build a homemade version of this. But for today, this senses the change in a magnetic field. So on AC voltage, we have a sine wave and the voltage goes up and goes down and up and down. So we have a continually changing voltage. And as we've learned in previous videos, that means that we have a continuously changing magnetic field. So if I take this sensor and I just rub it across my shirt, then it's gonna beep and glow. And it is doing that because it is picking up and dropping different levels of static electricity. And that is a changing magnetic field. But if I'd simply place it on my arm, then we're not actually sensing anything. And same thing, if I insert this into the smaller blade of an outlet, then yeah, it's gonna sense a changing magnetic field right there at it. Now this doesn't require current. This is a change in voltages. Notice that because there's nothing plugged in here. And let's just make sure we're clear. If I unplug this, then we're still going to get a beep when we put it into the small blade. And that's because it only needs a change in voltage. It doesn't need any current or anything else happening to sense this. So in our little cell phone charger, we're gonna look at mainly two components. If we look right here, we have a small transformer. And then right over here, we actually have four diodes. And that's what I've drawn here. So we've got 120 volt coming in. And then we're dropping it down to a lower voltage. And we've talked about this in previous videos, how transformers work. Now we haven't actually talked about diodes much, but this arrangement right here is called a bridge rectifier. And let me know in the comments if you think this is something we should cover. It's a little more electronics than electrical, but it might be a neat thing to play with. But for this lesson, mainly, it is gonna separate all the plus over to here and all the minus over to here. And we are gonna end up with a DC voltage on this side. Now there's also some capacitors, voltage regulators, and all other types of line circles and arrows that I should have over here, but this is our basic circuit. Now, in order for our non-contact voltage sensor to sense, it has to see this change in magnetic field. Now over here, we have a steady voltage. And if you have a steady voltage, your magnetic field is steady also, which means that we cannot sense a voltage on this side, at least if everything is perfect. But this isn't a perfect scenario because this transformer on this secondary side is actually floating. So we don't actually have a perfectly flat DC voltage. While we, between the plus and the minus, it won't change this DC will ride up and down this a little bit. And that change of voltage ever so slight is enough to be picked up, maybe. So now I'm gonna plug my wall charger in. And just to show you that, yeah, it's nothing special. Hopefully you can see, you can see the entire cord there. I plug it in and we can see there, yeah, now I'm charging here. But if I take my non-contact voltage sensor and touch, then I will probably find some spot on my adapter that it'll beep. 
But if I move to my cord, I don't get any beeps. And if I go to my phone, I don't get any beeps. And that has to do with these also require that there be a certain intensity before they go off. So a minute magnetic field will not set this off. And if I lightly rub my hand across, I don't get anything, but I am creating static electricity and there is a changing magnetic field. But if I move faster, then the intensity of the voltage and the change in the magnetic field goes up and yeah, now it goes off. So how did this guy actually do this? Well, I couldn't make it fully work like he did, but I can get close is I modified this one to lower that threshold that makes it go off when you're touching something. So now, same as before, I plug it in and this one actually just glows, but it glows red. And I plug my wall adapter in and yeah, now there's a much bigger surface that'll glow on. And if I touch up here, through here, you see now we're glowing all the way up. And if I touch my phone, yes, now my phone is electrified, but it's not. It's just that it's sensing a changing magnetic field. It is not electrified any more than it was electrified before. But just to take it a step further, let's go ahead and plug a set of headphones into this. And now with my modified set, I need another hand. I can sense voltage on my earphones. But again, it has to do with that. There's an ever so slight ripple in this common right here. And that common is going on to that mic. And so that's what you're seeing here. And I said, I couldn't get it quite because at the end, he was able to have the kid hold me lead in one hand and it go off in the other. And I can't get mine that low a sensitivity. Now, if I had an extra wire kind of hidden in my sleeve, then yeah, I could probably manage to do it. And I'm not saying he did that, but anyway, you guys, I was not able to dumb down my probe enough to sense it by me simply holding the phone in one hand and touching the other one like he did. Now, back to the original question is, is this dangerous? Well, from an electrical standpoint, no, this is not dangerous. We're still just dealing with five volt here. The only difference is we're getting a sine wave on that five volt DC that can be picked up in a non-contact voltage sensor, especially one that's modified so that it takes very little to pick up that magnetic field. Also, just to make it clear, I did watch a few others and they go to their car and show how you're safer in your car because this doesn't go off. Well, in your car, you don't have this 120 volt or this transformer. You simply have a DC to DC converter right here. So we have 12 volt DC and on the other side, well, even this, none of that's there. And then we have plus and minus coming out of it. And so there is no changing magnetic field in DC. So there is no voltage that can be picked up with a non-contact voltage sensor. So I hope you learned something in this video. I hope the most important thing I can teach everybody out there that just happened to find this video because they saw something on Facebook and not because you're normally subscribed to my channel is quit believing what you see on Facebook. I guarantee you that almost all of it is not true. Hope you liked this video. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. Till next time. Hey, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And you two thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.